Welcome to the Xilinx booth at ISE. I'm Rob Green, uh, working the Pro EV and Broadcast team. And uh, if you're not familiar with Xilinx, we are the inventor of the field programmable gate array. So back 35 years ago, uh, we invented a silicon device which can be programmed to do whatever kind of algorithm you like. Um, that's moved on over the years to become a more platform company. So we, we now do adaptable compute accelerated platforms or ACAPs. Um, and we also create uh, boards. So we have uh, uh, Alveo product por portfolio, which enables you to do acceleration of uh, software-based and cloud-based um, algorithms in all kinds of environments. So the big news for us at uh, ISC is the introduction of the world's first FPGA implementation of HDMI 2.1. So HDMI 2.1 supports up to 8K uh, 60 images, um, actually supports up to 10K, but here we're supporting 8K 60 uh, video. Um, we have a source here, um, which is 4K uh, input from uh, an NVIDIA Shield. That's coming into our HDMI 2.0 receive um, on a Zinc Ultrascale uh, Plus MPSOC platform. So on this uh, device, we have uh, transceivers which can support the HDMI data rates um, and for HDMI 2.1 we're transmitting from this board uh, out to a second board so we're showing both transmit and receive capabilities through our device um, and then we transmit out of the second board into this 8k monitor here um, what this shows is that the devices are capable of supporting 8K uh, on the transceivers, so we do AV connectivity at 8K rates. We also do the video processing in between at 8K rates as well. Um, and we have the ability to program this into our devices, as I said at the start, which means you can do multiple channels of this potentially. You can um, use this HDMI interface to bridge to Ethernet in the future and do uh, AV over IP bridging. There's lots of capabilities uh, involved here. So Xilinx works with a number of uh, partners as part of its alliance ecosystem and Magnica Technology is one of those who has a specific um, expertise in IP transport networks. Um, so here we're showing a new module that's been introduced at the show for 4K over 1 gigabit Ethernet. Um, and this module has been developed in partnership with Intupix who provide some of the compression codec um, uh, as well as Magnica's own SMPTE 2110 IP based transport. Um, and marrying those two together means that you can do uh, HDMI over IP networks uh, with very light compression and very low latency compression. So here we can see uh, a source video that is coming into the module uh, being passed over the network um, and shown on the output monitor here. There's very little difference in visual quality and very little latency, almost visually lo uh, lossless quality and visually um, you can't really see any delay between the two. Um, so the fact that this is in a module means that you can easily add this to your own product range. It means that you don't have to worry about system level concerns, how to integrate HDMI with the IP network. It's all done in that module for you, um, which means that you get a faster time to market. You can concentrate on other parts of your design to differentiate more. If you want to see more, uh, please head to Magnica's website, magnicatech.com. So we also have a proof of concept demo uh, here at ISC, which is machine learning. So Xilinx has uh, moved into adaptable computing, uh, which involves machine learning aspects. Um, and here we're showing how um, CNNs and neural networks can be used to detect people and faces and gestures. Um, and in this industry, in the pro AV space, we can use those for machine learning in terms of um, targeted advertising. So if we see a particular gender walking past the screen, we can present adverts that are targeted to that specific gender, maybe perfume or, or aftershave uh, commercials. Um, but as you can see, we can detect all kinds of metrics. We can detect faces, which means potentially we could measure emotions uh, to see what the reaction is to that advert that's being presented. Uh, we can detect passers-by as they're going through the screen, so we're seeing traffic that's going past that advert as well. And all of this is the, the kind of monetizable aspect of digital signage, which I think is uh, you know, potentially interesting to many uh, vendors, both in the advertising field and in digital signage generally. So we've got lots of different capabilities and uh, there are lots of models that can be used all based on the same platforms that we talked about from Xilinx, gives you that flexibility to innovate and to, uh, to improve and optimize um, to your own solutions. 
So if you want to see anything else um, from what we have at ISC, then please do visit our website, science.com slash ISC 2019. Thanks for watching.